Please give me the brush. Hi guys, in this video we're going to be testing new Essence makeup products. This is going to be a full face of first impressions and a small sneak peek to today's products. I have the Christmas collection of Essence, also a new setting powder, yes, they never had something like that. Also I'm going to try the soft touch mousse foundation. This is a product that a lot of you wanted me to review. It's not a very new product but I have never tried it before. Here is my headband and let's start with the first product. I'm gonna use this lip balm. It is the Oh My Cuties I think it is called. It has this little ship here and this one is from the Essence DIY Advent Calendar. This is in the shade Barely Kissed. It contains argan oil, shea butter, jojoba oil and vitamin E. This is a light beige lip balm. It's not completely translucent. It is glossy. It has a slippery finish. I like that it is scentless and let's continue with some primers. For primer I'm gonna use this one here. This is the All About Matte T-Zone Primer Stick and it says that you can use this to mattify shiny skin areas. So you can apply this on forehead, nose and chin. I'm not going to use a lot on my forehead. A little bit on the T-Zone and my chin. It's not like I have a very oily skin type, I have dry skin and the glow that you see is from my hydrating skincare products. I don't like sticks because I can't really tell how much product I apply on my face. It has a silicone feeling. I don't see a very big difference for now and it's not like it gives a very intense mattifying finish and on the rest of my face i'm gonna use the mattifying pore minimizing primer and this one has black clay this one is actually one of my favorite primers by essence it can give a mattifying finish to your foundation but it's not very drying for dry skin after that we have the soft touch mousse makeup i got the shade matte sand and this is the number one Actually, I think this is the third, the darker one. Keep that in mind. It doesn't have a lot of information on the line or on the packaging if this product is for all skin types. But I think I have read somewhere that it is for all skin types. So let's see how it looks. It looks like a beautiful chocolate mousse. And so it doesn't have a scent. I'm going to take some with my spatula. It has a very moussey texture. So I'm going to apply some with my fingertip and I will try to blend it with a brush and with a sponge to see what works better. I'm taking the leftovers of foundation on my skin and I will try to blend it with the sponge that I have. And this one is the Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. This actually blended super nicely. I have a very light layer of coverage. I'm gonna try to use some more to see if the coverage is buildable. This time I'm going to take it with my sponge. I think it is easier to apply the product with your fingertip and then blend it with a sponge. I feel that the sponge is absorbing the product and it doesn't transfer it on the skin. As I can see it doesn't oxidize. I love that. It makes my skin super smooth but I think that if I apply a little bit more it will start looking cakey. It gives a nice matte finish. If you have dry skin I think that you should use another primer with this foundation. Something illuminating is going to work better with this one. It has a very nice coverage. On the other side I'm going to use the Makeup Buffer Brush by Essence. So this is how it looks with the brush but I think that it is better to apply the product with your fingertip on your skin and then blend it out with a sponge or a brush because I can see that I have more product on my brush. I'm using a little bit more of the product on the areas that I want to cover more like the pimples, redness and veins. And after that with my brush I'm blending the product. 
I think I have a better coverage with the sponge because you can press the product into the pores and I can see that on this side I can see more texture. With the brush I like that I don't see any lines from the bristles. With liquid foundations I always see that. With this foundation you can have a very flawless and blended finish with a sponge and with a brush. So that's very nice. This foundation as we can see gives a matte finish. Also it's not sticky at all so I definitely think that you can use this one for days that you're running out of time. Moving on to concealer I'm gonna use the camouflage matte concealer and this is in the shade 30 light honey. This one is the latest concealer that they have but it's not new to me and this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers and actually this is my third tube. I'm going to use a little bit on my under eye area and also on the eyelid. I love the doe foot applicator of this product because with one dip into the tube you can apply on both of your eyes. I'm also using some on my lips, chin and forehead. Mostly because I want to see how it blends with the foundation. That blended super easily on top of the foundation and yeah it looks flawless. I'm so happy. Let's see how this one works on top of the foundation. This is the All About Matte Fixing Loose Powder. I think this is the first time that they have a loose setting powder and it says it is a mattifying, shine absorbing loose powder in a universal shade suitable for all skin tones and we have a nice shifter for the product. I'm not going to use a lot of it because the foundation is not very sticky. The foundation didn't crease a lot. That's very very positive. That means you need just a small amount of powder to set it so it can last all day. I'm also going to use this to set my concealer. I'm going to take some pictures to see if we have any flashback. Oops, I turned off the phone. As I can see, I don't have any. And let's continue with some contouring products and highlighters. I have these two palettes from the Royal Party collection. And I'm going to use for contouring the All My Contour contouring palette and also have this highlighter here and this Christmas collection brush. This one here has six shades that you can use to highlight and contour your face. I also want to try this face brush from the Christmas collection. The name of this brush is Make a Wish. I prefer the Santa's Little Helper name that we have for last year's Christmas collection brush. I have it here. It is dirty, but you know, I use it. This one has a lot of tape. We have this beautiful transparent handle with the water and the design. From the palette, I'm going to use this shade here. I think this is a very big brush for contouring. Okay, and the name of the shade is Noble Taint. This brush is a little bit too big and noisy to use for contouring. It is better to use it to blend your face products or to apply your bronzer, I think. I'm going to take a smaller brush because I want to do a more precise application. And this is the BH Cosmetics brush number three. I'm mixing the two colors together and I use it on my forehead. I'm going to take this shade again to contour my nose. Oh, I forgot that we have a mirror. The shades are not as dark as they look in the pan. You need to layer them to get the intensity that you want. And that's nice when you are a beginner in makeup, but it takes a while to build the color and actually contour my face. The powders that I have tried are blending super nicely on the skin, but 
I would prefer to actually get the color that I see because I have tried both of them and I still don't think that my contouring or bronzing is very dark. Now I want to add a little bit of color on my cheeks and I'm gonna use the Matte Touch Blush. This is in the shade 20 Bury Me Up. I'm taking the product with the brush by Beach Cosmetics. This is number two and just smile to see the highest points of your cheeks like this and I'm dragging my brush on the cheekbone next I'm gonna take this shade here it is called vanilla bourbon bourbon I'm gonna use this powder to clean my blush application and contouring Oh, it works very nicely. I'm using a flat brush, as you can see. This is number L by Zerva Cosmetics. Number, name, number L. And to blend everything together, I'm taking this noisy brush again. It sounds like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Choo -choo -choo. The brush doesn't have any harsh edges and it has a very nice packaging, super soft. To highlight my face I have this palette here and also the face and body highlighter from the Christmas collection from Santa with Love. And I want to see what shades I have in this palette to decide what I'm going to use. This one is a little bit more glittery. I think I'm going to use it on top of these highlighters. I'm going to swatch them to see the shades. Yeah, these are very dark for me. Let's see the other three. So I can use these two highlighters. These are the lightest. With brush E40 by Sigma, I'm going to take this shade here. It is called Prosecco Boom. And I'm going to use this on this cheekbone. Oh, super pretty. A little bit powdery. You definitely need a very small amount of this highlighter. Ooh, that's very shiny. I'm trying to blend it with the other products. Okay, that's super beautiful. On the other side, I'm gonna use this one here, the Golden Dime. This is also a powdery highlighter. They have the same formula. Both of them have a very nice sheen. The color of this one is a light peachy champagne and on the other side we have a light pink highlighter both of them are very glowy and shiny on my nose i'm going to use both of them i think i prefer the shade on my nose better i don't know it looks more natural with the foundation that i have today with this palette you can experiment and see which shades are working for your skin tone also if you get a little bit darker in summer you can still use this palette i'm using a little bit of the lip balm on top of my highlighters i want to use this one too this is the from santa with love face and body highlighter and let's see how it looks Oh, this is super, super smooth and it has a white frosty finish. This one is more like a highlighter topper because it has a lot of fine micro glitter in silver. I think this one is going to give a very snowy finish to my face. Okay, I'm very curious to see how it looks on top of other highlighters. It looks like my brush is not picking up the product. It makes the highlighter a little bit shinier. It gives a white frosty finish. I think I prefer the colors of the two other highlighters. It gives a wet look to the skin and also a glittery finish, but it's not super glittery and also not very visible. I also want to use it a little bit on my bones here to see on top of my skin how it looks. I think that my brush is not picking up the product. I think I would like this one better if it was in another shade, not a frosty white one, something more natural, maybe something champagne. It looks like a white silvery highlighter with a lot of glitter. I did my brows off camera because I don't have the correct shade of the brow color that I want with the Essence products. This one is lighter and this one here is warmer. Now it's time for this cutie pie here. This is the eyeshadow palette from Santa with Love. 
and it has this beautiful gorgeous packaging it looks like an envelope adorable and this is in the shade express delivery from the north pole the color star is very similar to last year's eyeshadow palette this one here but we don't have any similar eyeshadows if you already have this one they also have a new eyeshadow brush with this theme it is called your snow cute okay your snow cute too it doesn't open please give me the brush oh this is noisy too this is not the same eyeshadow brush that we always have by essence this is the brush so my sound effects are gone now and uh, oh they're not okay i can wait the new brush has a bigger base and the bristles are shorter let's do some swatches oh ooh, that's glittery and gorgeous the glitter have like a sticky consistency they are like a gel glitter eyeshadow i wouldn't use them without a glitter primer i forgot my headband because i did a brand a lunch break i want to see this and this and basically all the shimmery eyeshadows the shimmery eyeshadows have a nice sheen but most of them have micro glitter so let's see how they look on the eyes i'm gonna start with this eyeshadow here it is a light beige matte eyeshadow i'm using the new eyeshadow brush to highlight my brow bone i'm also using another brush by essence this eyeshadow is very very powdery and fluffy with the new brush i wasn't able to apply a lot of product near my brow because it has short bristles i think it's going to work better if you want to cut your crease with that brush but i prefer the regular eyeshadow brushes by essence next i'm taking this eyeshadow it has a matte finish it is like a light pink beige matte eyeshadow i'm using the eye blender brush by essence to diffuse this into my crease okay this is super beautiful for something every day it has a very nice color intensity and it looks very light in the pan so i like this oh i forgot to zoom you in this blends beautifully it has a very nice color payoff and i really like this one as a crease color this is also a powdery eyeshadow so after that i want to continue with this shade here it is a light purple matte eyeshadow and it has like a warmer undertone and with the brush 2 to 5 by zoeva i'm going to blend this into the crease area but closer to the eyelid this eyeshadow has like a berry purple bright color i'm taking some more to make the color more intense and i'm trying to keep the color in the outer edge of my eyes okay that blended super easily i'm very surprised and happy after that i want to take this eyeshadow here it has a lighter pink purple matte shade and with this one i'm going over the edges of the previous eyeshadow that's brighter i'm going to wipe my brush and continue blending i thought it was going to be a lighter shade okay i'm going to use just a little bit on the other eye as well and tap the excess off these eyeshadows are powdery i'm cleaning my brush and then continue blending with another eyeshadow brush by essence i'm going to take this dark purple shade with the matte finish this is how it looks and i'm going to press that on the outer eyelid that's gorgeous super pretty and blendable so i have used two layers of the eyeshadow and it looks amazing it was very easy to blend it this purple shade is not as dark as it looks in the pan but i think that makes it more wearable and it is very easy to blend it on the eyes here we have a shimmery eyeshadow with this beautiful berry color and i'm going to press this on the center of my eyelid i'm going to take some also with my fingertip oh that looks glorious 
and so pretty. With a brush you can have something more wearable but if you want that very intense sheen definitely press it with your fingertip. On the inner part of my eyelid I'm going to use this light champagne golden shimmery eyeshadow. This one also has some very fine green and pink micro glitter. This one is not transferring with a dry brush so I'm also taking some with my fingertip. Oh my god, it's very shiny. This eyeshadow is fluffier and I have some fallouts here. So I want to find my doe foot applicator. It is better when you use a sponge tip applicator, but I don't have the same sheen on my eyes. So I'm going to use again my fingertip. To intensify the lower lash line, I'm going to take this light brown matte eyeshadow and I'm going to smudge this on the outer part of my eye with an Urban Decay brush. This blended super easily and very fast. I'm impressed. And for the inner part of my eyes, I'm going to take this eyeshadow here. It is a light lavender berry shimmery eyeshadow. And this one has some very fine pink micro glitter. This one is not very easy to apply it with a dry brush. So it is better to use it with a fingertip or a sponge tip applicator. I'm taking again this eyeshadow here and I'm going over the edges of the lower lash line to smoke it out. I want to use a little bit of the glitter that we have in the palette on my eyes. So first of all I'm going to use the glitter primer that I have here. It is the get your glitter on. I'm going to apply just a little bit on the back of my hand. What I don't like about this glitter primer is that it has a pink sheen. It's not transparent. And also it's not a very sticky primer, so I'm going to take this and add it on my eyelid. I'm taking a little bit of this glitter here. Oh, it looks very nice. Okay, I also took again the light champagne eyeshadow that I had on my inner part of the eyelid. And I used some on the edges of the glitter. Okay, I think it looks super fantastic. What do you guys think? I'm using a black eye pencil in the waterline. For liquid liner, I'm gonna use the Catrice Cosmetics liquid liner in Dating Joe Black. In this Christmas collection, we also have a pair of lashes. The name of the lashes is All the Jingle Ladies. These are the lashes. We also have a little bit of glue here. The band is a little bit weird. It's not very flexible. Now I'm measuring the lashes and I think they can fit my eyes, but I'm a little bit worried because the band is not very flexible. So the lash glue that I'm going to use is by Duo and this is a quick set strip lash adhesive. With this lash glue, we have a silicone applicator. I didn't want to get this one, but they didn't have the regular that I always use. I think this is the best lash glue that I have tried because you don't need to wait for it to become stickier. I'm also pushing them a little bit upwards so they can look longer on my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of black eyeliner on top of the band of the lashes because it's not transparent and it doesn't look nice. You can see the little white dots on the band of the lashes. Okay, on some areas it's not easy to cover the band with the liquid liner. It is what it is. For mascara, I'm going to use the You Better Work Volume and Curl Mascara. I don't like these lashes a lot because they don't give a lot of volume to my eyes. They are long, but they are not very full. The length of the band is okay for me. Also, I don't like the band of them because it's not transparent. It is a very light white color and you need to cover it with a black eyeliner. 
and it's not very convenient let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite pair of lashes from the drugstore high-end whatever you like about the eyeshadow palette we have some shades that are trickier to use but this is not a disappointing product i want to update you also about the lip balm it's not very hydrating i had to reapply three four times during the filming of the video as you can see i have like a line in the inner part of my lips because i have a applied a lot of this it has a thicker consistency and it's not very moisturizing for the lips i want to use the this is me lipstick in the shade amazing i think this color goes so well with the eye look today let's see now what happened with the face products hi guys it's been almost 11 hours and let's see now what happened with the face makeup my foundation didn't crease on my forehead or on my t-zone i'm a little bit shiny on my cheeks and also on the forehead but it's not oily and my foundation is not patchy i don't have any areas of foundation separating my skin still looks very smooth i'm very impressed with the foundation i didn't believe that it would work for me and i think that it is a very nice product if you want to do your makeup very fast in the morning about the powder i didn't have any issues with all of the other face products that i have applied on my face today so about the this t-zone all about matte primer stick i'm not very sure that it worked i'm a little bit shiny on the t area here on the t-zone t area my foundation didn't crease here so i'm thinking maybe it was the primer so i will definitely use these products again and the powder of course let me know in the comments what is your favorite product of today's video and you can find here more essence reviews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye!